I'm walking down the steps near the Cobb County Courthouse. I totaled my car in like November. I still haven't bought a new one. It's just a pain in the ass to go buy a new car. And I've been getting around via Uber, scooter, one wheel, and other types of transportation. This really kind gentleman was at this bus stop behind me up there and he's getting on the Cobblink bus. But he told me in broken English that I could have his ticket, which that's it right there, to get back to the city. And I don't feel like paying for Uber or Lyft, so I'm gonna get on this bus. Waiting on this bus, the guy that got me this ticket told me that the bus that goes to this stop right by the courthouse goes to Atlanta. But what he may have meant was there was a transfer point that I have to get off the bus at. So my last video was about bus ride in Costa Rica. Might have something to do with the infrastructure or something else. But people just don't take the public buses as much in a lot of major American cities, including Atlanta. So this will be an experience for me, someone that, that has been lucky enough to have a car most of his adult life. So I've gone online and figured out what 15 IB looks like and 45 IB. I think they both go to the Marietta Transfer Center, which would be the place I'd find a bus for Atlanta, I think. But if I stay on one, it goes to like Vinings, which is not in the middle of Atlanta. It's just barely in Atlanta proper. And then the other one goes like into Vinings and then out around Atlanta. So I'm gonna have to switch buses or get off this one and vining plus is taking forever today and i called the, the customer service number to find out where i could track the bus i downloaded the app it looks like it shows the route but not where the bus is so i'm going to call it a day here i got an uber ride and i'll do this again tomorrow the uber wait time was like 30 minutes so i decided i didn't want to wait and i started walking about 10 minutes ago so i've walked about a mile now and i'm gps my house it's about 15 miles away from my original starting point and about 14 from where I am now. Right across from the Cobb Civic Center. Gotta get across the road now to get Ubers and Lyfts. Taxes and driver fees they have to pay now they didn't before. It's less of a deal. I could rent a car, fill it with gas, and return it in one day for less than I could just get an uh, Uber ride back and forth from where I went and have no access to a car. All right, so I figured out that the Cobb Transit Transit Center is actually a mile from where I was. Check in here because it might be worth finding out if there's a bus to Atlanta. It looks like on the map, like four of the buses go to Atlanta, but only one of them does. And it wasn't there and I didn't want to wait. Maybe that's, maybe that's what's driving this walking and transportation situation other than wrecking my car a couple months ago i've passed two bus stops that probably wouldn't the right bus stops to get on the bus that would take me to town but i'm still walking i've been walking now for about 40 minutes it's an adventure nonetheless and what is this channel if not an adventure channel right Kennesaw state university marietta campus not kennesaw campus that's kind of neat right there that's doing housing and everything it's amazing how all we had to do is go outside of the confines of places that we visit daily to kind of get a sense of how people lead very different lives from ours there's probably something in our i'm theorizing here i don't really know what i'm talking about but there's probably something in our dna or our genes that urges us to get out to go see how another person with a totally different life lives i don't know maybe it's we start to feel safer when we know no matter what happens we can survive in any environment i actually love giving myself a chance to be in a different environment and figure out whether or find out whether i can make it there are environments i'm sure that i would not make it in clearly i made it on the bus after about two hours of walking the right bus stopped while i was at the right bus stop so i took the ticket that the gentleman gave me put it in the ticket slot by the driver acted like i knew what i was doing and he let me on it was a very normal and peaceful bus ride probably more peaceful than a lot of the bus rides i've taken where riding the public bus is more common among people 
of all demographic and socioeconomic classes. I'm not suggesting anything by that statement. I'm just telling you what's true in the United States, particularly in Atlanta. But people should take the bus more often. It would save traffic. There's no reason to be suspect if you take this Cobblink bus. I, for one, wore a business suit during business hours on this bus ride, but no one gave a shit that I was there. So if you're worried about doing it and you feel like you want to, take the bus for one afternoon. We took the HOV lane from the top of the perimeter. Here's us getting on the HOV lane. So the bus ride went really fast once we got inside the perimeter. This guy that's getting off just to the right that went out of the frame, he's the only person that made any kind of acrimony during any part of my bus ride. He gave the driver a hard time about missing a stop. The driver knew what he was doing. He didn't miss a stop.